Hello YouTube, I'm back again with another vlog today. I'm going to talk about my brum collection today. So it's not a bit really big, I haven't got as many brums as I've got Thomas the Tank Engines or Lightning McQueen's from Disney Cars and stuff, but I have a fair amount of brums. I've got this one here, which you've seen in two or three videos already. It's the remote control brum, I don't know what it's made by. I believe it's a Golden Bear or Born to Play toy. But does it does say Ragdoll Productions, made in China, addresses in 1996, and the remote control with it, and here's the other brum that I've got, this one is made by Golden Bear, looking underneath, it does say Golden Bear if you can tell, don't know if you can see because of the glare, but it does say Golden Bear Productions Limited. And has a code. And what's cool about this brum is when I, if I rev him up, he'll drive along, just like the way he does in the real, in the old TV show. And this brum here, it was from a brum car track thing, but. Now it doesn't work, so what I did was I opened it up and I've like switched the motor, like I flipped the motor around so I could still keep it together and connected. So now it just rolls freely. I might be using this broom for stunts though because it's old and has had too much love already. And I'll just give it more love. I don't want to sound like Sid from Toy Story though, where he's cannibalizing toys, and I haven't cannibalized broom. Kids are people are going to say, don't throw Brum out. He was my childhood character, and he still is the hero today. Oh, and this one here is a Polly Pocket type Brum set, and you see it's got like the shape of a grill. The bonnet ornament on top, and the little starting handle that he has. On the back, it's licensed Golden Bear. The same people who made the Talking Thomas the Tank toys, and... Ragdoll Productions Limited, 2002, made in China, to close case, remove big wheel and place in half with carousel and all other parts. And of course there's a funny looking code. So let's open it up and inside there is a good little place there. It's almost like the Bluebird Thomas the Tank stuff, so I understood our films. If you're watching this, you probably, this probably will be similar to the Thomas the Tank set where it opens up or poly pocket I don't know what it's called but inside we have a nice little wheel and it's what was it the episode brum and the runaway train nice moving then we have a little engine it was it did come with a carriage but the carriage is missing but I'll keep this set because it had a special place in my heart from when I was a kid The locomotive is like pink with a silver smoke box, cow catcher and funnel and roof connector on the back so it connects to a carriage but I don't have the carriage. And then here's the little tiny little brum which is really small. People might lose him if you're not careful but he does look pretty scaled with my 176 scale cars that I put upstairs as my train board in the train room you can see how big he is compared to my fingers and there's also a thing on here that when you turn the, car the wheel the carousel or roundabout turns the train can go back and forth. I did try to use a Bluebird Thomas on this set. I 
and there we go. So it says you got to put. I don't, well, I can't remember what it said now about how where you put the. Mm, I think you put it here, don't you? Oops. I need to get it in the way I got it out. Alright, how did I get it in? Gotta keep it out the way of the. Oh, I think I got it. Just need to put rum in. And of. Oh, there we go, got it. There we are. And. Also, to let you know, I'll, me and my family, my brother, my grandparents, and my mum, will be going on holiday to Bornton on the Waters, which is also where Brum was filmed. And you're going to say, Bornton on the Waters is also called, like, Cotswolds Motor Museum. Brum should still be there, but if he's not, then that's alright. I might, I'll still take my, I'll be taking my Brum collection with us and I'll probably even take the cars from, from Radiator Springs sometimes I wish we could have Brom meet Disney cars but you know he belongs to Ragdoll Productions and not Walt Disney but they're both good I'm never too old for this So, anyways, guys, wait. Stay tuned to the next part of this, where I show you where I do another. I'll be doing a vlog showing my holiday in Cotswolds or Bornton on the Waters. So stay tuned when that comes. And for now, I'd say thank you all so much for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next.